Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, in what my previous videos I demonstrated how to uh, create and use a DLL form CSI application. Uh, but uh, at the time of recording that video, I was using uh, XC6 version of C++ Builder, which was by default using a uh, classic Boland compiler. And if you try to uh, compile that example now under the newer version of uh, C++ Builder, which is uh, client-based compiler, you will not be successful in linking the code. So things are a bit different with uh, the new compiler, and I will simply demonstrate now that example again, but with slightly different approach. So first I'm going to create a new DLL. Uh, I'm going to choose a uh, visual component library as we are going to use the form, which is uh, VCL. And uh, I'm going to use up to see project structure. And first thing is to save everything. Okay. And I have already prepared the folder here, uh, which is going to be a DLL folder. Okay, file one. And I'm just going to call that my DLL. Okay, so that's that's that. And I also have prepared an application folder that will use that DLL. So uh, the next step is to add a new um, VCL form. And uh, I'm going to uh, add some caption here, DLL4. Uh, I'm going to um, add something to it, for example, edit one component and um, just add some button here, for example. Uh, with model result, which says uh, post. Okay, and um, I'm going to call that form uh, DLL form one, and I'm going to save that unit as DLL form, for example. Okay, and uh, in the previous video, what I demonstrated is that when you use a package keyword here. Uh, that is pretty much enough uh, to make this uh, DLL form exportable and all other applications could use it. But with new client compiler, uh, using the package keyword is wrong. And what you need to do uh, is uh, to use standard DLL export, DLL import uh, approach. Why is it wrong to use package is a pretty long story. and. Uh, uh, let's just say that it can lead to many problems and that's why it's pretty much uh, something that we need to avoid and it simply doesn't work in a uh, client-based compiler. So uh, what we need to do, like I said, was a classic um, DLL export and DLL import approach where we would use DLL export when exporting the class inside the DLL and where we would use DLL import from an application that uses this DLL. So I have prepared uh, a template code here, which is uh, pretty much standard, uh, not to waste time typing it. So pretty much I say here, if there is a exports macro defined, then uh, DLL export pretty much represents DLL export specification. But if exports macro is not defined, then DLL export uh, represents DLL import. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll simply say that this class is going to be exportable. And I'm going to remove the package keyboard here because uh, under the new compiler, you simply don't uh, need to use it. In fact, it will result with unsuccessful uh, linking. So what we need to ensure that DLL export means DLL export uh, specification when inside DLL project. To ensure that, we need to define this export uh, macro. 
in order to define it, we'll go to the uh, project options, DLL project options. And um, shared settings, uh, shared options. You see now this condition will define, and I'll just add exports here. And since I have now defined the exports macro, then DLL export means really DLL export specification. Uh, the application that will use this uh, DLL will not have um, exports macro defined, and therefore, for that application, DLL export will actually mean import. And that's what we want when inside DLL we want to use uh, export specification and uh, when inside the application that uses that DLL, we want to use import specification. And uh, now let's uh, build everything to see if it's uh, okay. Okay, great. Now let's create uh, another uh, project. And that's going to be an application that will use that DLL. Windows VCL application. And I'll save it um, in the application folder, which I have prepared. Okay, here. Project Google, okay. Uh, so I want to ensure that DLL and uh, application are in the same folder. So because I'm going to use static DLL linking and therefore I'll just uh, go to project options of the application. And I'll say that the final output directory is dot. Okay, that means uh, when the exe file is created, it's going to be in this folder, not in the debug folder. Okay, I'm going to save it. And I'll do the similar with DLL project, and I'll say uh, that final output directory uh, is the previous directory, two dots, and then the application directory. Okay, so now let's see, I'm going to clean this, right? And um, now this is the application folder. And now if I build this DLL, uh, DLL should uh, be here. And it's a static library. Okay, so I'm building. Okay, so it appeared here, DLL and it's a static library. That's great. Uh, and now we are going uh, inside our application that needs to use that DLL, we'll place a button here. And in order to perform uh, static linking, we need to add the um, uh, static library of the DLL. Okay, that's done. And inside the code, uh, I need to include the uh, header uh, of the DLL form. So I'll just say include, where is that header? Uh, if this is the uh, app folder, then I'll go a step back. Then I'll go in DLL folder and then uh, I'll go, uh, is the name. So I'm going back and then DLL and then it's called DLL form.h. Okay, let's just try to compile this to see if uh, this is correct. Okay, no errors, so that's great. And now we need to uh, call our DLL form. So how to do it? Well, uh, it's actually pretty simple. We'll just create an instance of that form by using uh, dynamic allocation. So I can say, uh, now let's, let's see. Uh, 
course. So, okay, it's called the DLL form one. Uh, pointer uh, DLL form. Uh, Okay, and then so I can see something like this if uh, equals uh, if uh, show model result it with uh, model result close because we have specified inside this DLL uh, form. If we uh, check the design, that uh, this button here that is on this DLL form, it has a model result, you know, a result uh, close. Okay, so we check if uh, we clicked the close button. And if we clicked it, then simply show message uh, DLL uh, form uh, edit one uh, text. The text that is inside edit one component of the DLL form, and at the end, uh, simply delete uh, DLL form. Of course, you could use uh, smart pointers like unique pointer for this purpose. Click, and here it is. Uh, I'm going to click close, and it's specified edit one. And if I click here. That didn't result with model result pose, but when clicking this button, it results okay. So if I specify something else, that looks okay. And that's pretty much how it is. Very simple. Uh, you just need to uh, go inside this header, remove the package declaration from this uh, position, and use uh, uh, this set of macros that define when the uh, when, when the uh, DLL export specification use is used and when DLL import specification is used and it, it, as if you remember um, uh, we specified the exports uh, macro here in in the project uh, options okay which ensured that DLL export inside DLL project means DLL export spe specification, but inside the project, uh, meaning the application that uses that DLL, we haven't specified that uh, commission defines, meaning that DLL export means uh, DLL import specification. And uh, the rest is simply doing dynamic allocation. And of course, we could actually do it in uh, one more, uh, using one more approach. We could open the uh, project one, and as you can see here, uh, forms are created by using the create form. So you could also use the same DLL header here, and uh, then simply do this. Uh, what's the name? DLL form. Okay, so it's. Okay, and uh, we could simply say if um, DL form is it called one or okay, DL form one. Okay, so uh, in this case, what I have done is um, I can also add here the allow export. Okay, I will rebuild my DLL. And now let's see uh, if uh, application now works.
now it works. So if you want to use the second approach that uses the global variable uh, and create form, you need to uh, export that part here as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope now you understand how to um, export DLL forms by using a new Clang based compiler, because like I said in uh, the previous video, I showed you how to do it by using classic Bola compiler, but uh, uh, as time goes uh, by, uh, classic Bola compiler uh, probably won't be even supported anymore. So this is the approach that you will uh, need to use in the future. Thank you.